Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video what we have is we have the brand new One UI Beta number 2. It is now available on Samsung Galaxy S22 devices. So let's dive in and see exactly what is new. So you can see I just did the update on this beta version. We have a bunch of new features, a whole bunch of bugs that were fixed, and a couple of known issues that still do exist. But first, let me show you the actual new features let's dive right in so first i'm going to pinch the screen i'm going to go to my widgets what we now have is we have a brand new smart suggestions widget so i'm going to tap on this i'm going to grab this guy it says here apps and actions will be suggested based on how you use your phone so i'm going to grab this guy i'm going to dump it right here so based on how i use the phone all these apps are going to change and actions are going to appear right here. So that's supposed to be a smart suggestions uh, box. This would be very useful on your home screen if you just grab it and put it to the bottom here. What you can have is you can have a dynamically changing app recommendation system based on your use of the phone and you can have your permanent applications right here. So fantastic new feature. Let's talk about the next feature. The next feature actually, finally something new in battery and device care. When you click on this guy, you wanna scroll all the way down and what we have here is we have the brand new maintenance mode. So when I tap on this guy right here, you can see the maintenance mode is designed so when you take your phone to get it repaired, you can turn on this mode and by doing so, your personal data, pictures, messages, accounts cannot be accessed. Only the pre-installed applications can be used. That is great because we all know the repair people always dig in and look around at your phone. They're sneaky. So let's tap on turn on see what happens. Turn on. It's going to ask you to restart. I can restart without creating a log, which is for the staff, the repair staff to look at. The log is going to show things like errors, what applications were used and all that stuff. Tap on restart. Let's see what happens. Actually, it is creating a log uh, because I did not check the box. So it is creating the log. It says this normally takes two minutes after the log is created. Your phone will restart in the maintenance mode and you can safely hand over your phone for maintenance. Fantastic. There we go. It is saying switching to maintenance mode. Uh, looks like the wallpapers are still active. I have dynamic wallpapers. Okay, so there we go. So even the wallpaper is now gone. Swipe to open and that is the base maintenance mode. Just looks like you got a brand new phone. The phone is starting. Let's see what loads up. Uh, all the pre-installed applications are going to still show here and looks like that's basically all there is to it. Okay. On the top, you're going to see a little icon. It's going to show the maintenance icon. It even says your phone is in maintenance mode. And then you can tap here to exit. So tap here, exit the maintenance mode, exit. It's going to restart as usual. You have to put your PIN number here. Uh, this is, you give it to them, they give it back to you. They cannot exit the maintenance mode. You have to exit it. So that's great security. So. Put the fingerprint, restarting maintenance mode, exiting maintenance mode. We're going to be good to go in a second. Now, another great feature that has been actually added to the system is the RAM Plus option. So let me go down over here. Uh, if I go into battery and device care, now we already had the RAM Plus, but now you can actually turn it off. So it's right here. If I click it in the last beta, it was supposed to be here, but did not show up. Now you can turn this off and then you can restart your phone. Now, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra like I do or any other newer Samsung phone, you don't have to turn this off. All this is doing is taking four gigabytes from your storage, which could be 512 or one terabyte or 256 and using it as a backup RAM plus for performance enhancement if you're having issues. With a phone like this, S22 Ultra, you're not gonna have any uh, performance problems. So you can turn it off or you can just keep it on. It's not a big deal. It all depends on your phone, but the fact that the option is now there across the board is great. You can change it, but every time you change it, you have to restart it. Alrighty, 
All right, so the next feature is known as the privacy detection feature. Now, it's a little bit hard to demonstrate that because I would have to show you guys sensitive information, but let me read the description so you get exactly what's going on here. So privacy detection. Uh, if you try to share a photo that contains sensitive information, such as credit cards, ID cards, uh, or passports, you're gonna get a quick notification in the share panel, a warning not to share it. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, I'm gonna go here to my gallery. Let's say this photo here was a photo and somewhere here was my credit card and if somebody zoomed in, they could look at the credit card numbers. So now if I were to tap on share and try to share this item with somebody, let's say via text messages or whatever, it is going to alert me and let me know that I'm supposed to, I'm about to share something private and it's gonna prevent that from happening, okay? So that's another great feature that was added, listed right here. Many bugs have been fixed and I wanna let you know we do have some new icons, nothing dramatic. Let me show you how small the difference is. So here's a phone uh, with the regular One UI and basically here's the new gallery app Here's the old gallery app, okay? That's it. Uh, here's the old camera app. Here's the new camera app. If you look at it very carefully, you'll see that the circle in the center on the camera is larger. The color is now more like a teal color. Here, it is a green color. And again, if I go back here to other places, uh, let's uh, Samsung, Samsung. Not a huge difference, though. My files application, you can see, looks a little bit different nothing uh, major smart things looks like it is the same uh, let's look at the calculator application i have it right here that's the old one uh, the new one just a little bit darker and bolder that's it okay so not a big change in app icons for now might even be something that is not permanent but if it is not a huge deal looks great this way or that way and also you can see again you can pause and read all the bugs that have been fixed if you were experiencing any one of these and also these are the existing known issues that seem still to be a problem but beyond that as far as new features are concerned we just went over all that stuff and that brings us to the end of this beta update if you do have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.